Hello everyone, today we're going to be messing around with some denture cleaner. Now the reason I have this guy is to clean my retainer. Um, but I want to see the chemical inside of it. And so this particular one is Pullant, which is made out of dilute sodium hypochlorite. Which has the formula of one sodium cation and then an anion of chlorine and oxygen. It is a weak base, and so we're going to be testing its properties today. All right, so I have crushed several of these containers into a fine powder. Well, somewhat fine. And, well, more of a coarse powder. Um, and I put it in a test tube, and we're going to add about one milliliter of water to show you how this reacts. It's actually a little bit more than one millimeter, and that noise you hear is my dog. This is my dog. Back to science. <laughs> so it phoned up and then it has come back to the other dog. Anyway, back to this. As you can see, the water resulting is very, very green. Now we're gonna actually add a ton more water because we want to fully dissolve this stuff into the water, like so, and make it green. All right, so that's basically all mixed. Uh, not all of it dissolves. I believe that's just random things that are produced during the process. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna transfer some of this liquid into smaller test tubes. To indicate, we're gonna use one of these just indicators one of these cheaper indicators um, should be good enough. So let's, I actually decided to use a spot plate because uh, it's easier. So let's transfer some liquid. Yeah, let's go into this spot plate. As you can see, it has a lovely green flavor. It also smells very minty. Uh, I believe the exact mint smell would be wintergreen. All right, so we're gonna get one of these papers, All right? And as you can see, it's that color going in. And we have put it in. And I guess the one problem with this is it is colored. So I don't know if this will affect it. Um, no, that's just getting all weird. We use it, let's use a, another source. So I have a much finer detector. Let's use that. So we're also going to use this uh, water pH reactant reagent. Sorry about that. Liquid. Uh, I know these are probably designed for water, which is where my problem comes in. Um, yeah, we're going to just test this. Uh, something that might be actually quite hard to figure out is considering it's a very weak base, we might not even be able to detect it. So as you can see, we have that color. And the reagent color is kind of a, I don't know. Um, I don't know what color this really is. Actually, we can put a droplet out on the spot plate. So it's like a uh, orangish, reddish color. It's a nice color. Oh, that was cool. That was a very cool thing. Actually, let's see that in slow motion. That was a very cool slow motion. Uh, anyway, we're gonna use this guy now to detect it. Now I would say it's not as dark as an eight, um, but it's darker than a seven. So I would say maybe 7.5-ish, which is good, because that means it's a weak base, which is what it is. Um, let's show this on the chalkboard. After referring to Wikipedia, which I don't understand, why people don't like, I just turn on my light there. Um, it is 7.5185. My tests, I estimated about 7.5, which is very close. Very close, actually. A very good estimate. But 
What about the other reagent? Let's look at that. All right, so looking at our Lipness paper, um, so it has, I would say, it's a little bit lighter than this 8 and darker than the 7. So I would, again, estimate the 7.5. So that means that both of our measurements worked. Uh, we have the two different tests, and these are the exact same color. It's just another view of them. And the Lipness paper produced about the same result. So that means our test is accurate, plus the Wikipedia is just about the same. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and have a nice day. As a bonus of watching all the way through, we're going to pour the rest of it into some water. Some nice bubbles. As you can see, we actually have quite a large ratio of foam to liquid. <laughs> About half and half, actually, right now. It's uh, almost like a soda, except for... Uh, it's a bleach, essentially. So, soda bleach? Yeah, let's not try it. <laughs> anyway, guys, I hope you enjoy the video, and this is the actual end. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.